Swing over to Fox Run Golf Links in Elk Grove Village and drop into a challenging public 18 hole course. Enjoy a friendly and relaxing atmosphere that offers golf outing packages, lessons for all ages, a pro shop, a bar and grill, and an event room with scenic views for that special celebration. So to book your next tea time outing or event, contact Fox Run Golf Links today. It's such a vital tool for knowledge of what's actually happening. They want to be informed, they want to be entertained. It's the eyes of Elk Grove. There's no better way to find out what's happening in Elk Grove than Channel 6. For over 25 years, Elk Grove Village residents have tuned into Channel 6 for information, entertainment, and news about the events and happenings in the exceptional community. The station has evolved to keep up with technology and the changing needs of the village. So let's rewind and journey back to the beginnings of Elk Grove Television. The Park District and the, uh, uh, the Village of Elk Grove are going to hold hands and join together and do everything we know how to have a, a very exciting and entertaining and informative Channel 6. Four elected leaders, Jim Petri, Jim Heffern, Chuck Zedek, and Jack Clays set out on a mission to bring more than just typed messages into the homes of Channel 6 viewers. I remember at that convention watching the presentation by a small park district in New London, Wisconsin. And they are maybe five, six thousand in population. And they showed what I thought of as home movies and how to build a snowman. And, uh, but they were doing it over the public access channel in New London. So I came back and uh, wrote a memo to Jack Clays, the director, and said, hey, let's try to do something with this. Jack Clays approached, he came over and approached Chuck Zedek and myself, and he and, and Jim Heffern came from the park board. 
and we talked about what about he said and, and we'll we'll run it for you we'll we'll take it over and we'll do the program you'll have plenty of input into it so from there we d we had several meetings just the four of us and uh, decided that yeah we wanted to do that Elk Grove's new local channel operated out of the basement of Alexian Brothers Medical Center the hospital provided limited equipment and staff Community Profiles, hosted by Jim Heffern, was the first cable cast program. It was in the basement and it was cramped. And uh, they produced in-house programs for the patients uh, when they, and they had the ability to go live from their studio. Wow, this new cell phone is really cool. I gotta show Debbie. Hey Debbie. Yeah. Check out my new cell phone. Oh, oh it's got two built-in cameras and a large LCD screen. And it's got plenty of room for lots of apps. Wow, that looks really cool, Ross. You're gonna have a lot of fun with that. Yeah, but yeah. What did you do with your old phone? Well, I think what I'm gonna do is just toss it in the junk drawer for now, I guess. You know, you can recycle it and help out the less fortunate all at the same time. How do you do that? Well, all you need to do is bring your phone down to the Department of Health and Community Services over at, here at Village Hall, and they'll recycle it for you. And hey, check this out. Read this. Wow. Refurbished and donated to shelters for abused adults and children, medical patients, people with no phones, and they're disposed environmentally friendly. That is really cool. And, and wait, there's more. The money raised by this will go towards here. Check that out. Hmm. Wings. Women in need of growing stronger to help local women with a, a domestic violence and homelessness. Wow, that is awesome. So, Ross, if you need more information, you can call this phone number. Um, one thing you want to keep in mind, though, is to remember, erase all of your old personal information from the phone before you donate it. And you just happen to have all these sheets ready for this? I like to be prepared. Nice. World War II, where the country sacrificed, where Everybody got involved in whatever had to be done within your community in order to sacrifice during the war. And um, we didn't have cell phones. And our telephone was a party line. When the street lights came on, that's when you knew it was time to go home. So life was simpler while I was growing up, and even into my teens. For high school, I went to North Park Academy in Chicago, and it's now North Park University. They got rid of the academy about 15 years after I graduated. And then I went to Missouri Valley College, where my major was psychology. My daughter was three, and when she was about two, I started looking for a place other than in Chicago, primarily affordable housing, reputation of good schools, and although we didn't have the high school here in Elk Grove Village when we moved in, we knew that one was coming, and even if one didn't come, I knew that she'd be going to a high school in the District 214. So that was the primary uh, two reasons, affordable housing and, and the quality of schools. I did not want her to have to go to school in Chicago, in the Chicago public school system. So mm -hmm. that's why we came here.
Ah! Oh! Chocolates! Where's the chocolates? Where's the mayor? Where's the chocolates? Oh. Thank you, disembodied hand. Wow, your knuckles are a little hairier now. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, that's a lot of stairs. Maybe I'll just teleport up there. Oh, I love teleporting. That was an exceptional amount of stairs. Now let's see. The disembodied hand said that the mayor's office was up here somewhere. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, Chief. Hey, Ralph. Isn't Debbie supposed to be with him? Yeah. Wow, it's kind of quiet in here. Mayor's office. Oh, chocolates. Mayor's office. Where's the mayor? Oh, there it is. Mayor's office. Okay, Phil, one more. Heaven help me. What's the difference between a lawyer and a herd of elk? What's the difference, Marvin? The lawyer charges more! Party ha ha ha! If there are hunters watching, please shoot me. Richie Daly, Richie Daly, how many times I gotta tell you that the airport's gonna be hey. the way I say, not the way hey. you say? Hello! Oh, Richie, a more important person here to talk to me. Goodbye. Ralph! Hey, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? I'm doing great. Glad to see you. Oh, yes. to see you too. Hey, you uh, can't just go barging in the mayor's office. But I wanted to get a chocolate coin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mayor Ralph Johnson. Ralph he... anytime here, Debbie. Don't worry. He... Ralph, it's always good to see you. I'm glad oh. you came to see me today. Oh, thanks, Mayor Johnson. Listen, I, I gotta ask you a question. I heard about these chocolate coins you give out. Is that true? Well, I don't know if I call them coins, but we do give out what we call our chocolate logos. Today is Tuesday, November 8, 2011. I call this village board meeting order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Zarna. Here. Trustee Feichter. Here. Trustee Frankie. Here. Trustee Listener. Here. Trustee Petri. Here. Trustee Procno. Here. All board members are present tonight. Uh, tonight we're going to have the invocation from. We move on to approve the minutes of October 25th, 2011. I move that we approve the minutes and dispense with the reading. Second. Well, a motion by Trustee Petra, I second by Trustee Zarnick. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Good evening, Welk Grove. I'm Ross. And I'm Debbie. Here's tonight's top story. Elk Grove Village residents want to know where they can tune in for local information. That's right, Debbie. That's why we're here, to tell you about Elk Grove Television, EGTV. EGTV is your number one source for village information. Village board meetings, park board meetings, police and fire, recycling, local high school sports, it's all here on Channel 6. EGTV is available on Comcast Cable Channel 6, but if you don't have cable TV, you can still watch us on the internet. Just surf to www.elkgrove.org and click on the EGTV 5th page. Or you can go to EGTV, pigcentral.com and watch our shows on demand anytime. So Debbie, what's with the pickles? You should talk. You look like an old school rapper. Touché. 